Hey, Yarny friends. Oh, I decided that I was going to record a video for you guys today because it has been a while and it is probably going to be a while yet. Um, <clears throat> and I have the ability to do that right now. Uh, everyone's awake, which is why I'm able to film. Um, <clears throat> my husband and daughter have been using the office for their quarantine isolation since we have COVID, but they are on the other side, thankfully, of that uh, quarantine period. So I'm back in my office, but it's still probably gonna be a little bit tricky for me to get um, things recorded in the evening and uploaded. I'm doing some catch up because of everything that we have been going through for the past little bit. So, um, <clears throat> I am sick, but it is not COVID. I came down with uh, bad cold symptoms a few days ago, went and got retested um, because my first COVID test was negative, got retested after I started to get bad sick symptoms and my test then came back negative as well. So the best that I can guess is that I have like the flu, like legit influenza, because I've had like body aches, a low grade fever, headaches, fatigue, like the whole nine. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I have definitely been resting a lot um, and trying to take it easy as best as I can, uh, which is another reason why I have not been recording and doing a bunch of stuff. Um, my daughter Rosie came in here to grab her book. You want to say hi? Hey. <laughs> She's big into the Junie B. Jones books over quarantine. Yes. All right. Let me let me record now. Okay, baby? Love you all. Okay. Uh, close the door all the way behind you, please. Thank you. Um, that's Rosie. She's my nine-year-old, or eight-year-old. She's one of the ones who was COVID positive. It was only her and my husband who tested COVID positive. So, um, <clears throat> anyways, I'm getting better. My progress is slow, but I am getting better. Um, definitely not feeling as sick as I was a few days ago. So I'm thankful for that. All the other kids are healthy. Um, my husband and Rosie, their COVID symptoms are completely gone. The only thing that, uh, my husband still has a bit of a symptom of, which from everything that we've heard, it can take a little while to come back as his sense of taste and smell. But even that is starting to come back. It's just taking a minute. I'm very thankful that because he was vaccinated and even though his was a breakthrough case he only had like honest to goodness cold symptoms for like two days and then he was done never had any shortness of breath difficulty breathing or anything like that he just had a uh, bad cold symptoms for like two days and then he was done um same with rosie her symptoms were very mild she is old enough to be vaccinated here in the states um but covid got to us before we were able to get her in to get vaccinated so now that she's in the clear, we talked to the, the health department here in our county and they said that once she's done with her quarantine, she can get vaccinated anytime. And so that is going to be our next steps. And once I am out of quarantine, I will be getting my booster. <sighs> so that is kind of all of the updates of sickness and everything else. Thank you so much for your encouragement, your prayers, your positive thoughts, all of that. It has meant a lot. I'm sure you can hear my children while I'm out in the other room. Daddy is watching them. They're fine. They're just been cooped up in the house for the last 10 days straight. The only bummer is, is that because me and the younger kids have all been exposed to COVID, but we tested negative, we need to quarantine for an additional 10 days after the quarantine is done. So I'm not going to be out of quarantine and the younger three kids are not going to be done with quarantine until the 15th of December. So we still have a little ways to go, but thankfully my husband and my daughter, the health department said that they are good to resume normal activities. And so I am thankful for them that they will be able to do that starting Monday. But let's talk about yarn stuff because I haven't been completely dormant <laughs> during this time. I've been trying to find things to keep myself busy and happy. First thing that makes me happy is this shirt. I will show you. I got this in the mail a while back. It's my yarn at play sweatshirt. I love this thing so much. I've been living in this thing since I've been holed up at home. It is just the coziest, comfiest thing. I intentionally got it a size too big because I like that extra roominess in my sweatshirts and 
I really like it a lot. It, and it's really cozy and comfy. Um, very soft, snuggly, just the right weight. So I'm not like sweaty, but not so light that I'm cold. It's like, it's really nice. So if you're interested in that, they are available at yarnatplay.com. Also, another thing that I got in the mail was my Yarny tote bag, which I love the colors of. I intentionally did rainbows because I, I created, I get to create this entire design start to finish. So I love rainbow colors, as I think you guys all know. And so I did rainbow color bag. And then on the other side, it says, I make cute things with yarn. Cause yes, I do. I really am happy with this bag. I've been using it a lot. And I was really impressed with the quality cause I was expecting it to be like a sweatshirt where it's like vinyl printed on. No, it's like actually like the ink is in the fabric. Like that's just part of the fabric. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But it's not like an applique, it's like the actual bag. That is the fabric. So, really happy with this. I haven't had too much use of it yet because I'm not going anywhere, but I still am very happy with that. So, let me show you. <clears throat> if you're interested in either of those things, you're in at play.com. Um, let me show you what I've been working on. I've been working on a crochet project and an knitting machine project. I will show you my crochet project first. I had no idea what to do, so I just grabbed some yarn that made me smile and started making a granny square. Um, and that is what I'm doing right now. So this is, will eventually turn into a blanket, but that is my big giant granny square. I'm just working it out until it's like the width that I want. I'll probably, I'll probably make it a baby blanket and see if anybody would like to purchase it because it is really beautiful. Um, and very nice and soft for baby. Um, and I have enough blankets in my life. I don't need another one really. Um, but it's just nice. It's just, it's just a big granny square. So it's really easy to work on when I just want to keep my hands busy. The yarn in this is Picasso from Ice Yarn doubled up with Softly Baby from Ice Yarn. I think it looks like candies. <laughs> um, I really love it a lot. So this is my happy snuggly soft project that I've been working on. And that is the progress that I've made. That's like, I've only been like, I just grab it when I've been sitting down and stuff. So I haven't had too much time to work on it. But I think that I can probably get this done. Oh, I give it a week and I'll probably have it done. So that's fun. And the colors, I mean, when you're stuck inside and it's December and Christmassy. Who doesn't want fun, pretty rainbow colors? I just, I really like that. So, um, that is my crochet project that I've been working on. I also made a twisted garland for my Christmas tree. Um, we put our Christmas tree up yesterday. No, two days ago. But then we needed more strings of lights for it because we didn't have enough lights because I didn't realize that I had done like a Christmas tree bin purge um, at the end of the Christmas season last year. <clears throat> and so we had to wait to order more lights and for those to come in on Amazon because everything is getting delivered to us these days. Um, so I got the Christmas tree all decorated, but while I was waiting for those lights to come in, I just made a twisted garland, um, made really, really long chains, just chain stitch, really, 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 really long. And I did one in white and one in red, and then I rope twisted them together. told my kids, I was like, I'm going to go in here and film. Can you just be like, you don't have to be quiet, but can you just not be like over the top, crazy loud? <sighs> Four kids under eight. We've been stuck in the house for over two weeks. There's only so much I can do. Um, anyways, I'll put a picture of my Christmas tree up here. Pardon the messy books and everything else. My oldest daughter has been reading through all of her chapter books while we've been quarantined and she decided to take them completely off the shelf and fully reorganize them because that's just her mind. She loves math. She loves order. She loves organization. That's her heart language. So she decided to reorganize her books. So that's why they're scattered all over the floor. And, but you can see my Christmas tree. It's it, our Christmas tree. I always say it's such a homely little, little Christmas tree. And we got a new one this year. We got a skinny one because our living room is not that big and I wanted it to fit in that space between the bookshelf and our TV, which is right where it is right now. And so it couldn't be like big and poofy. Um, so we have our little tree and it was looking very bland with all of the 
old homemade. Every ornament on that tree was either homemade or handed down. So our tree is very kind of homely looking. I don't have like one of those fancy, pretty curated Christmas trees. Ours is a very homemade Christmas tree. But I thought it looked pretty with that little candy cane garland on it. I just gave it a little extra something because I felt like it was just kind of blah. If it's only lights and it's only ornaments, I feel like it's just kind of like, I just need something. I might actually make one more in green and white and do that one around, but I haven't decided yet. <sighs> So that's my Christmas tree. And then to go with the Christmas tree, this is my knitting machine project. I am in the middle of, we don't have a tree skirt for a Christmas tree and I don't want to spend money on one. Uh, so I am making one with my knitting machine. So if you can see here, <laughs> um, this is entirely my 22 needle machine. So I'm having a small, strips into big so it looks like a big hexagon octagon hexagon six sides hexagon um thing here and then i'm seaming all the tubes together as you can see i still have four more tubes to go over here um and then i did some crochet work ugh, in the middle because we have a fake tree and so i didn't need like a big for like a big stump i just needed a little a little hole for the top of the tree to come in so i, I crocheted around that to narrow up that hole and then i'm planning on doing when this is all finished all around the outside to make it more circular and just to give it a pretty finish i'm going to do some sort of crochet lacy border in white so i'm hoping that you know like the red and white garland that I put around the Christmas tree with the red and white tree skirt. I think that that'll look really cute. Um, I originally had plans to make this like a buffalo check pattern tree skirt because I can do that on my machine. Um, I had it all plotted out, the row counts, everything, and realized that I didn't have burgundy or black yarn. Um, so since we still needed a tree skirt, I had an abundance of this like cherry red. This is, I inherited this yarn. It's not my favorite. It's Red Heart Super Saver, but it'll be great for a tree skirt. It'll be very durable. I just don't like working with it. I don't like how it feels. Um, but this is going to last forever. <laughs> um, and this is uh, cherry red. I think the color is cherry red. So I had a bunch of that sitting around. So that is my tree skirt in process. I will definitely show you guys what it all looks like once it is completed, but I'm really happy with how that's turning out. I have a feeling that I can get this finished up. If not tomorrow, then the next day. I should have it finished up. So that is most of what's going on over here. I really hope that you guys are doing well, that you're staying healthy and safe. Things here in Michigan are pretty frightening with COVID. Um, I know a lot of people um, who are currently in the hospital, who have recently passed away due to COVID, or have just had really extreme um, reactions to COVID. I even, you know, someone that's connected to my family, loosely distantly, but someone that's connected to my family, uh, found out today he's, he's in high school and he got COVID. Uh, right before Thanksgiving and he wound up having a heart attack like it's just he's in high school it's just nuts so please stay safe please protect yourself um wear a mask everywhere just just do it just I say this because I love you guys I'm not trying to start a debate or get into anything here let's leave politics out of it just take this as an I love you guys I don't want any of you to get sick. Okay. Just take it for that. Um, because I do, I love you guys and I want you guys to stay healthy. And if nothing else, being holed up and quarantined for the better part of a month is lame. <laughs> it's lame. It's not very fun. So, um, very thankful that we have been in good health overall, that our symptoms were not more severe, that I am the sickest one in the house at the moment. And I do not have COVID. I'm just, sick with the flu um and that we're on the mend and that we should be back to normal very soon those are the things that i'm thankful for i hope that you guys are doing well 
and I'm sorry that I've been gone. I know you all understand. Um, but I, I do miss talking to you guys and making videos. So, um, still can't do tutorials at the moment. I'm working on that. I'm hoping to be able to do that soon, but I'm also trying to have lots and lots of grace with myself and, um, get the rest that I need and be available for my family and everything else. So <sighs> good things are coming. Thanks for hanging in there with me, guys. I miss my yarny friends. I'm glad to talk to you again and I will see you all soon. Bye.